don't be an instigator. Man, how many times did I hear that growing up? Of course, my mom was referring to the fact that I had done something to provoke one of my siblings to get irritated, upset, angry, furious sometimes. I don't know why, but I was really good at doing that. Pushing their buttons to get a response. Now, maybe my mom was partly telling me to not be an instigator for my own safety. Because often, I'd provoke one of my older brothers and then I'd have to run for my life. I guess I just kind of loved the rush and the thrill, the beating of my heartbeat as I was trying to escape from my impending doom. But when we hear the word instigator, it usually carries with it a negative connotation. Not always, but generally, I think. Now, there's a story in the Bible of an instance where being an instigator was the right course of action. Israel at the time was being ruled by the judges, men and women who led Israel and just kept them in check spiritually and judged their matters. But when a judge would die, Israel would revert back to paganism and idolatry. God would send another nation in to conquer Israel to get Israel to get their focus back on God. Because trouble often has a way of getting our attention back on God. Anyway, Israel had sinned and God had allowed the king of Canaan to come in and conquer Israel. The Bible says that this king Jabin mightily oppressed Israel for 20 years. Now, that may not seem like a long time, but imagine yourself being a slave to another country for 20 years of your life. It starts to seem like an eternity. Israel needed to be rescued and God had a man for the job whose name was Barak. Now, this man Barak was a warrior but he was one of those kinds of people who you they give you a lot of effort, but they kind of need a jump start to get moving. You know the kind of person I'm talking about, right? The kind of guy who you might hire to do a job, but you can't get him to show up. So you call and call and call again. Finally, he comes out and knocks the job out in record time. This was Barrick. He was the kind of guy that needed a jump start. He needed an instigator in his life. So who would that be? Well, God used a woman whose name was Deborah to instigate Barak to action. Now, lots of people give Barak a bad rap for needing to be prodded and helped by Deborah, but he is listed in Hebrews as a man of faith, along with Gideon, Samson, Jephthah, David, and Samuel. The man had faith, but he needed a push. He needed a jump start. When Deborah told Barak to go up and fight against Canaan, he told her that he would only go up if she went with him. Deborah knew that he was the man for the job, so she stood by his side as God worked out a great victory for Israel. There are people around you, in your circle of family and of friends, that have great potential, just like Barak. But they may need that jump start, that, that push. They need an instigator in their life. And that could be you. God wants you to be an instigator. Not to make people angry, but to instigate them to understand their full potential. With some, it'll take a lot more pushing than others. But I know that we are the kind of people that need to be instigators. My mom told me not to be an instigator, but maybe it's time that I start rethinking that. I'm Jeff Thompson, and this has been A Message in a Minute.